shipping container conversion. And I've been getting some measurements up and going to get everything set and organized when I get to putting in my furniture for the office for this place. So I had to come back and actually get some measurements, make sure I'm not getting something that won't work because I'm I'm uh, limited to what how I want to do everything as far as the size wise. So I want to make sure that I literally utilize every inch and space that I have available to actually network. So that's what I've been doing today, lining all this, lining all those things out. Just wanted to give you a small update of the conversion. My goal is to actually have it when you walk through the double glass doors, it be a seat here. And I have the plaque displayed up here for those who will be investing in us to advertise their business and what they do and stuff like that. I have some type of um, stand over here, vase or something, you know, table for to set your phone or whatever. And my goal is to have the chair of the futon or whatever here and then something on that side to sit in. And then that'll be the drink situation set up. And then I'm going to have a, probably another shelf over there. You know, I got a couple goals and probably the the desk up in this area because the monitor going to be there. So I'm going to utilize the space and I'm going to be having stuff hanging on the walls on certain parts of it for display because this really be the showroom floor. You know what I mean? But when you come and do the welding sessions, you know what I mean? It'll be a different, completely different layout. So for those who was thinking about doing one, you know, you got options. This here is actually five by eight. So keep that in mind. Five by eight area is pretty, pretty, pretty big. And it's a good bathroom area. So five by eight is a good bathroom area. You know what I mean? And you see, you got plenty of headroom, plenty, plenty of headroom. And this is my welding booth set in the storage in the welding booth until I actually install the restroom when that time comes. But right now, I won't. I think it's affordable enough for me to actually use a porta potty when I take it to certain events and I've set it up. So we're going to be working out the kinks as we go to figure out how to make it mobile and to kill several birds with one stone. But the goal is, is to have an idea to design yours. Literally there's no limitations on what you can do. It's all based on what you want to do. So you can set your own budget, your own plans, your, your own ideas, how you want it, and just be realistic with it. That's the main thing I would say. Peace, peace, peace. Hope everything good on your end out there this this afternoon. I'm out here trying to do a couple of things that look cool over here. But I just wanted to check in for a second, give you some ideas. You know, I want to expand your horizon when it comes to container conversions. And it's always good to have a refresher, you know, to keep it in front of your mind and say, hey, I can do this, I can do that. You don't have no limitations on what you can do. But you have to start from somewhere, you know what I mean? So I'm sitting here today actually getting a couple things lined up on some measurements, about to get ready to leave now. But I wanted to give y'all an update and just let you know that there's nothing you can do with a container conversion. So just keep that in mind. Keep all your options open. It's 2021. It's time to stop thinking big. It's time to start thinking big and stop thinking small. That's what I meant to say. How gone?